Hi Aquarius, this is your February 7th through February 13th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and uh, share this video to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Swords with the Chariot and the King of Swords. And we also have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, or another Aquarius. Or you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Well, the very first thing I said when I saw the spread, when I was done laying down these cards, was... Oh, <laughs> I think it's a case of when two people are in love with each other, when two people have a crush on each other, but they don't know that. <laughs> you know, it's like all you got to do, guys, is to talk to each other. And then you'll quickly realize that both of you have very mutual feelings towards each other. And it's going to be a smooth sailing and uh, moving forward from that point on. That's what I feel here. Um, first of all, we got the Queen and the King of Swords in the same spread, right? Uh, you could be dealing with a fellow air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, or the two of you make a perfect match. You're a perfect couple. You are a perfect power couple, as a matter of fact, right? Um, yeah, so you could be the King or the Queen, however you want to assign these roles. We got both, right? The King and the Queen of Swords. Right, and uh, the first guy that came out is the Eight of Swords, and it's clarified by the Nine of Swords. The Eight of Swords is somebody who is stuck, trapped in their own thoughts, uh, somebody who just keeps thinking, overthinking, and I think this is mutual energy, right? The Eight of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Swords, so things are about to get worse, or they already got worse in terms of thinking and overthinking, right? The Nine of Swords is a card of somebody who is stressed out, somebody who can't sleep at night, somebody who's got anxieties, and it kind of feels like it's mutual, right? The Eight of Swords could be yours, and the Nine of Swords could be the uh, your person's energy, right? Both of you are probably an air sign. And then we have the Ace of Cups clarified by the Knight of Cups, you see? Both the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups are about genuine, authentic love. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but like I said, both cards are all about love, and the uh, uh, you get the Ace of Cups, they get the Knight of Cups, or the other way around. I hope that makes sense, right? So you are uh, coming towards them, and uh, they are coming towards you. It's mutual, right? <laughs> and uh, then we got the Queen of Swords. Uh, for the reading's sake, I would assume that's you, right? And uh, in the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Swords with the Chariot and the King of Swords. Uh, the King of Swords, this is um, your person for the reading's sake. And uh, the Ace of Swords is that very straightforward conversation. So communication is key. Come on, guys. Talk. <laughs> Communicate. The Ace of Swords is a card of um, a brand spanking new beginning. The Ace of Swords is the Ace of Truth. The truth is both of you in love with each other. Both of you have a crush on each other. Both of you feel the same way towards each other. Right? So you just need to talk about it. And once that happens, so you'll be embracing the, the chariot energy. The chariot is a personal cancer card, by the way, you could be dealing with a cancer, but the chariot is all about moving forward. It's one of the fastest cards in the deck, you know. It's also a card of victory, but this is a win-win situation. This is a mutual victory. The chariot is all about moving forward and not looking back, right? <laughs> the three of cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. This is a card of a union, a very happy union. This is also a card of celebration. So once the two of you talk, you'll have a reason to celebrate. You'll be like, really? You felt this way about me from the very beginning? Yeah. And that's the way I felt about you. So why haven't we talked? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, conversation is coming up. Uh, a confession of love is coming up as well with the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Um, the Three of Cups could also be a card of a party or an event or a gathering. You could have met at an event or a gathering or a party. By the way, uh, Aquarius, um, we all know your birthday season right now, right? So perhaps uh, you could invite this person to your birthday or, um, you know, you could, you could have another Aquarius who is a mutual friend, you know, they could be at 
their birthday party. By the way, happy birthday <laughs> if you're celebrating this week, right? Um, but yeah, all you gotta do is talk and uh, the two of you can get on the same page and you will very quickly discover you feel the same way towards each other. And uh, don't forget, if they are not a, an air sign, then the two of you make a perfect match, perfect couple. It will be an instant connection. It has already been an instant connection, instant chemistry. You just haven't told each other how you feel. All right, really happy for you, Aquarius. Congratulations. Aquarius, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description box down below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads. Depending on, the, on how the situation unfolds, we'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person moving forward and we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Aquarius, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the King of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified, clarified by the Six of Swords, and we also have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. This King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, for some of you it could be you and uh, your significant other, but for some reason I'm picking up this is somebody else. It's not you, it's not your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, it is somebody else, it's another couple, right? Uh, perhaps these are your friends or one of, you, one of them is your relative and the other one is married to your relative. And uh, for, for some of you, these guys are getting married and you're going to their wedding or perhaps you are traveling together, you're going on vacation together, or they're going to come stay with you, visit with you, or the other way around. You're going to go visit with them, right? We got the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Six of Swords right next to the deck. Both cards are either uh, travel cards or perhaps uh, since the Wheel of Fortune is also a card of a starting a new, uh, of a new cycle, you know, those guys could be getting married and you are going to their uh, wedding. Speaking of the wedding, the Harvent on the bottom of the deck is a card of a committed relationship or marriage. So, yeah, you're dealing with another couple and perhaps you're going to see them or you're traveling together or something like that. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aquarius, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the Three of Swords, clarified by the Five of Swords and uh, the Queen of Swords. We have the Hangman, clarified by Temperance, and we also have the Two of Cups right next to the deck, and Death on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Scorpio or pretty much any Zodiac sign. Well, I'm going to give it a 50-50, Aquarius. Right? It looks like the two of you went through a major, major ugly breakup. An ugly one. You know, the one that usually hurts us the most. But the very last card that came out is the Two of Cups right next to the deck. This is a card of uh, a soulmate connection. It's a card of uh, unconditional love. So, yeah, 50 50 anyway. Right? So, death on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. Is the personal Scorpio card, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Death could symbolize the end of your relationship or marriage in the past. In some tarot decks, death is named uh, death and rebirth. So yeah, it could, you could resurrect it if you wanted to. Uh, the first card that came out is the Three of Swords. It's classified by the Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords. The Three of Swords is a card of a broken heart. It's a card of a devastation. You know, it's a card of a heartache. And uh, it's classified by the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is an ugly breakup card, especially with the Three of Swords together, right? There must have been a really bad uh, fight or the two of you kept fighting and there was that one final fight that finally brought down this relationship, right? With the Five of Swords, this is when people slam doors on the way out. And uh, it's classified by the Queen of Swords, right? So this is what this person put you through. This is what you went through. Um, the hangman in the middle is um, clarified by temperance. Temperance is the personal Sagittarius card. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Or temperance is all about healing and uh, burying the hatchet, getting back together. And the hangman is a card of stagnation, nothing happening. So this is what's on the table right now. This is what's at stake. There must have been an offer or there will be an offer to get back together. It's just not on the table, you know. <laughs> but uh, since we got this uh, temperance card, so perhaps... Um, you know, you put them on hold uh, while you sort things out inside your head and uh, what's going on inside your heart for this person. 
So yeah, again a 50-50 with that two of cups being the last card that came out. Um, you know, Aquarius, as I always say, if somebody really, really screwed this over in the past, chances are they'll do it again. But if there was just a fight, if it was just some sort of a misunderstanding, then perhaps you can uh, give it a, another go. Alright? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Aquarius. This week we have um, the Magician, clarified by the Three of Wands. We have the King of Cups. Um, we have the Six of Wands, and we also have the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So you, you're dealing with this King of Cups, right? It could be a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody who is mature in control of their emotions. The Star on the bottom of the deck, uh, that is your card, Aquarius, that's you. And um, I'm not exactly sure how this King of Cups is, um, <laughs> how does they fit into this situation, but uh, they they are here. The Six of Wands right next to the deck, this is a card of victory, it's a card of success, it's a card of recognition, you know. So it could be somebody who wants to hire you, somebody who wants to do business with you. It could be somebody who already works with you and perhaps you're being recognized and this person is... Um, giving you a trophy <laughs> or it could be your boss who is promoting you you know but this is a good spread like I said the six of once is a great card to have it is a card of victory and recognition and uh, promotion uh, the magician the first card that came out this is a, also a great card uh, it could be you being awarded for being the best of what you do you're the magician you're the miracle worker you can make anything happen Right, uh, the three of wands clarified by the magician is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision. So, again, you can always leave me a comment letting me know how this plays out, but I, I believe this is a good spread. It's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading, and you have yours here with the star card. Uh, the star could also be interpreted as a wish come true. Perhaps this person is, uh, you know, reaching out to you and offering you a dream job, and you're like, yay, <laughs> something like that, all right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Aquarius, this week. Uh, we have the Sun, we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and we also have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This really reminds me of the first spread, the, uh, the new love spread I did for you in the beginning. This is a different deck. <laughs> I use different decks for different spreads. So yeah, you're dealing with this King of Swords, right? They're going to come towards you, I guess, and I, hopefully the two of you can um, get the show on the road. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you will, right? So yeah, the King of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or another Aquarius, or this is somebody who is very straightforward, very direct. They could be embracing the energy of the King of Swords and they're making a decisive move towards you. The Ace of Swords right there in the middle, this is that move, this is that conversation, this is that communication, this is the two of you, you know, finally getting uh, it off the ground. Uh, the Sun, the first card I came out, is the happiest card in the deck. It's a major arcana card. And the Wheel of Fortune right next to the deck, this is also a great card. Uh, it's a card of a, a new cycle starting between you and this person. <laughs> you know, you can still watch the extended. There's more details in it. I would really appreciate it if you did. But yeah, um, when the cards come out, I, I have to relay the message. So yeah, you are moving forward with this person, with this King of Swords. And uh, you're really happy about it with that Sun card. And uh, that's what I got for you Aquarius for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. Happy birthday one more time if you're celebrating this week. And uh, other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.